Welcome to Our Generation with Melissa Shaw, where we educate, empower, and inspire. And I'm excited for my guest today. We are back at Farm Free Life. Um, we'll be getting our drinks here shortly. What drink did you get? Oh, Melissa, don't do that. <laughs> um, it was some lime. Um, um, it is a ginger lime. Okay. It's a ginger lime. I'm interested to see it. Do I'm big on ginger and I love lime. You're right. Okay. And then I got butter added to it. So, ooh. Let's see what that's going to be about. Yeah, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be relaxed. Okay, cool. Relax is cool. Yeah. You know, yeah. obviously going busy and so relax yeah. is going to be great. Yeah, so welcome. I'm excited to have you on my show. Thank you for having um, me. So, we, this is our first time meeting in per No. We met at the um, Black Rose Gate. Did we? we did. did we meet? We did. Yes. We did. We did. We, did. we became and acquainted. I didn't, yes, and I didn't realize that uh, that Shay's your daughter. Yes. And so when we had our Zoom talking at the end of it, he was like, um, "I was like, oh wow, I didn't even connect yeah. the dots." Yeah, because yeah. I thought that's where you maybe got the connection yep. for me. Not at all. Like, oh. I just not at all saw you, noticed you, and your cool. spirit and your personality and. Definitely wanted to connect. Cool, well, cool. Well, so, so yeah. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, my name is Tiffany. Um, with Tiffany King, I am a mother. I have a daughter and a son. I'm a grandmother. I have two wonderful grandchildren, two uh, granddaughters, Denila and Ava. Um, I and work in the education field, right? And I'm a former education um, or teacher, if you want to say that, but educator, I like to say because I don't just teach in school per se. Um, and um, after years of working in the school system and seeing some things that I didn't kind of agree with as far as how we uh, treat children in school and how we label them, and, um, the tools that we give them for uh, everyday life, um, I have been using meditation and a little reluctant to the yoga part, mm -hmm. um, but more of the meditation for years I decided to use it with the kids. They actually liked it. They would come and say, um, like, Miss King, can we breathe? Or can we do that one stretching thing, mm. right? And in preschool, it's a concept called conscious discipline. And so there is a concept for mindfulness. Um, it's not really taught. And so being an educator and seeing that that tool was not given to children, I decided to use meditation. And it started off with meditation. And then um, someone I know made a post about. Go ahead. Uh, thank you. Oh, she has her drink. Yeah, it's warm. So I got to um, yeah. let it cool out. Because you know anything about me, too. You know I like hot water and lime and lemon. And I like <laughs> hot drinks. I know it's hot outside. I know. I do, too. My daughter is always like, why don't you get it cold? I said, because tea just doesn't make sense cold to me. Yeah. yeah. It's certain tea, but, but I like them better hot. Yeah. So especially some ginger and lime. So I'll tell you about that in a minute when it okay. cools down a little bit. Um, but yeah, so um, someone made a post and they um, correlated yoga with teaching children. Mm. And that's what made me say, oh, okay, I think I'll go ahead. And after years of being asked to practice yoga by a mentor, but I was like, no, 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 whatever reason, no, any reason. Right. But when it was connected to children, I thought, like, oh, I'll do it then. And I thought yoga was going to be more for the children, but it actually ended up being the connecting dot that I needed for um, my spiritual path. And so wow. Actually, yoga helps me probably more, if not just as much as it helps the people that I serve. So, I love that. Yeah. So what is your background? You mean in education? Yeah, so have you so, always been in education? My background? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, more of my background would be, I would probably be the student in school that they would label mm. and put out of class and say mm. that you're probably never going to succeed. Like, mm. uh, yeah, they say some things to kids in school. Oh, that, yeah, but I, I would never have expected oh, that yeah. out of you. I would have been that um, student. But it was all really a self-regulation uh -huh. issue. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, self-regulation is something that is, has to be taught, Yeah, really. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not really a skill that people just know. 
-hmm. is something that has to be instilled in a person. And Most so definitely. I was never uh, really able to self-regulate in school. Probably after the age of um, eight, because some things began to be traumatic in my life. Mm -hmm. And so I think um, when I think back, that was the first age in school that I probably started to just dwindle down and mm. didn't really, really just couldn't concentrate because other things in my mind were more important. Yeah. And the trauma and things like that. So. Wow. And um, so I had a, a kind of troubling background. I um, didn't graduate from high school. I got pregnant when I was 17 with Dashe. Um, yeah, didn't graduate. Uh, ended up doing things to survive. Yeah, mm -hmm. And um, I ended up going to jail one time. Mm -hmm. And spending a weekend in jail for me was enough to be like, oh, no, this how y'all living? <laughs> like, no. Yeah. You know? And ironically, it wasn't like I wasn't used to um, or, or didn't understand the prison life. You know what I'm saying? Because um, my mom had been in prison multiple times. And, yeah since I was a kid, but once I went there, I was like, nah. So after that weekend, I was already on a road of progression, but after that weekend, I was like, nah, it, mm -mm. like, no, nah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight, you know, cold turkey and just yeah. straight and narrow, like scared straight, that's mm. how it was. Though, wow. I was like, no, like this is not the life for me. Mm. And so, um, I began to just progress from there. And I ended up getting my GED. And then after that, I went to college and I got uh, a bachelor's in psychology and then um, took a couple of years off and worked on my life and career and things like that. And from there, I became uh, a college readiness coach in, with a partnership through uh, Mount Carmel Community Church in Ivy Tech. Okay. And uh, so I would work with kids in high school. Mm. And uh, they would already have college credits when they get out of. Nice. They would have a psych one on one, which is a class that you have to take when you go to Ivy Tech, like a foundational class. Okay. And so they would take it in high school, and then when they um, graduate, they would already have college credits. Nice. Um, through Ivy Tech, and so from there, life skills just build. And I was always building on my program in my mind, but I didn't know what it was. Right. Because. If I hadn't had yoga, I probably wouldn't have ever got it. Because again, that was the missing piece to the program that I always had in my mind and was visualizing. And um, I went back to school and got a master's in uh, educational psychology. Because by then, I'm in the school system deep and I'm loving to be um, in an educational role, not necessarily the school system, mm -hmm. but an educational role. And um, it just, continue to evolve from there. And then, like I said, the person made the con um, post on Facebook about kids and yoga. And I said, yeah, and became certified. Uh, I don't see myself not ever doing yoga. Yeah, like I see myself being 80, 85, however I can see age you doing that too. I get to in my life, I see myself doing yoga. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. And I love the that you're willing that you're wanting to really um, help the younger ones because yeah. I think the younger you can help them to self regulate, yeah, then the how their life will change as they grow up. I I definitely uh, believe, and there is publications in uh, scientific work that goes along with this, but I definitely believe um, that if children are taught uh, the skill of self-regulation through a tool such as uh, meditation or mindfulness, breathing, or even and or yoga, that their life will be changed because yoga is an inward practice and it teaches you to become familiar with who you are. And, and that's thank the- Thank you. Um, um, is this half balance? Okay, thank you. I can't do full no more. Okay. I'm a lightweight. Okay, okay. Let's see. So I have to make sure because I need did the dough because if I get full, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just it. Okay, we'll be all right. We are far in life. 
I think it's going to be great. My so it it's a nice, nice place. I do plan on coming back. Yes. Do you live out this way? I don't. I live closer to downtown. Okay. But I am a traveler. I'm always riding somewhere. In. I didn't mean to. I like to go to nice little um, point spots that are yeah. cozy. Yeah, and it is very. Warm, I like working out of here. tea and stuff like that. Yeah. But I like so. Why not? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, when I first started here, I uh, coming here, I would get butter. That was my first one, and I loved it, and I was I did great with it. And then um, I had a break where I didn't have anything because I had an accident, so I couldn't you know, travel to come and get it. And then when I started going back, I said, oh, I'll start on balance. Then when I tried to go back to butter, I, I, I couldn't do it. Like, butter just, like, literally had me smooth like butter. <laughs> well, I want to be smooth. <laughs> and Maybe then, I shouldn't have got a medium, but. No, you're good. I, and then the balance, I love the balance. It's really. Um, it's really hot, God. Yeah, I know. Their uh, teas wait. are so hot. Oh, you got a small. I got a medium, but okay. yeah. But yeah, it's Yeah, I got to take um, that off a little bit. It's, it's hot. Yeah. It looks delicious. Yes. Very so, um, So what is it about ginger and lime that you like? So, so with the yoga, do you consider have, do you have like this um, wellness like that you are working on, like holistic? Has yoga helped you to look at different things in your life that you want to change? Oh, or? yoga is definitely introspective, right? Um, again, I had already began to like eat differently through meditation. Meditation helps you because. One of the eight limbs of yoga is meditation. Mm -hmm. And so we just practice a lot what we will call the yoga asanas, um, which is one of the yoga limbs as well. There's eight limbs uh, to the yoga. But we practice, like I said, mostly the poses. So everybody thinks that's really what yoga is mm. all about. But breath work is in uh, part of yoga. Uh, meditation is part of yoga. Visualization is part of yoga. You know, being quiet and sitting and reflecting. So it's definitely a, a inner, a reflective tool. It and is. that's the key part that I think that children are missing. Mm -hmm. Like they are sitting in school uh, for eight hours, right? Which my son says is inhumane. And I when, I, I, when I looked at it- I will it, agree with that. When I looked at it in that way, I was like, oh, you, you're actually right. Because we're asking a human being to sit somewhere for eight hours to listen to one person most of the time tell you what to think, how to think, when to think. Um, when to very, go to the bathroom, when to eat. When to eat. Have you ever read The Four Agreements? I have. So this, I need to write one of my because I've been, I shout books. that book out every time I talk to somebody yeah. because yeah. just like what you said, like we're programmed. Exactly. And it's definitely a program. And, and then um, when you realize like, okay, I don't even like that food. I don't even like that music. Like... Like I, I There's say purple is my favorite things. color, but I'm like, where did I even get that from? Because I have nothing purple. Right. But I feel like it's from my childhood. Something said it was purple, somebody, and I just ran with it. And, and more than likely, if you feel like that, that's probably where it comes from. Because a lot of the things that we do actually come from our childhood. And it wasn't our thought or mm -hmm. our concept. It was somebody maybe of influence yeah. or someone that maybe was bullying you and to mm -hmm. do that, you said uh, that was it. Um, but yoga helps you to go inside where you build a certain confidence that you you're okay, you know who you are and what you like and what you don't like and who, who you're going to allow to treat you certain ways and how you're going to be treated. And so as an educator, I think that is... Uh, one of the most effective life skill tools that people should be taught if they're going to be forced to go to school in their life. And oddly enough, as, again, it's a concept in Head Start. Um, we learn it as teachers, but there's no space on the curriculum daily to actually say, okay, in Morning Circle, we're going to sit down and we're going to have breathing exercises. We do it. Okay, we did the pretzel, we did the star. But it's like you wait till the child is in that moment. Mm -hmm. And be like, let's breathe, let's breathe. But they don't have that in their toolbox. Mm -hmm. So they're just going to scream or do yeah. whatever they do to get what they need to get. Because that's their method of survival. Yeah. And so um, 
that was my real goal of establishing 3B Fit and still going back into some of the same schools where, um, like Northwest High School is the high school that I went to. So it meant something to me to go back there when I was teaching with um, Ivy Tech mm -hmm. in character education and psych one-on-one. -on -one. But um, I try to go back to the places where they actually probably told me like, oh, you're not gonna be anything. Like, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, yeah, you think you know this and this and this, so I, we'll see how far you get. And right. Actually um, pour into those children because more than likely, a lot of times those are still the same schools where that's been taught and being yeah, said. Definitely. And, uh, we're writing children up, we're prescribing them yep. with medications. And the only medication that they need is natural brain chemicals that come when you meditate mm -hmm. and when you uh, exercise and move energy through the body. Yeah. But we're medicating them and labeling them and doing things that are not, are inhumane, yeah. basically. So do, when you go into schools, um, are they, is what you're doing well received? For the most part, for the most part, there has been, but you know, I look at that like anything in life and especially something that uh, for a lot in the Western uh, civiliz civilization, excuse me, has been considered as a taboo mm -hmm. and something that you don't do. Yeah. Uh, and so coming out of a religious background, I understand this oh well that, you know, this is something that is not really accepted. Yeah. And whether we like to admit it or not, school is based off religion basis too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the same system of fear. Yeah. It's the so same much. exact system. It may be addressed differently. Yeah. Um, but school and religion, yeah. yeah. No, and, and America is based off a system of oppression. Yeah. So there's system of schooling. Like there's actually research papers that talk about how school was devised as a, a mechanism to control. Mm. Yeah. Well, if you think of growing up, we're not too far off in age, but that's how we was like, we was controlled. Yeah. We was ruled by fear. Like yeah. I was afraid of my mother, Yeah, 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 yeah. you know, and yeah. just to think to say that is like, you should never be afraid of someone that's supposed to love you. You should, you should never, you know, and, and, and to even bring that back to myself, I could say, I would think, um, what a fact that when I used to try to rule my children with uh, fear or, well, if you don't do this, I'm not going to be doing this and I ain't going to be helping you. It was not the best relationship. Yeah. But once I realized, like, yes, I am going to help you, even if you don't do what I say, because I still be helping you anyway, even when it happens. So why am I saying that? Right, really, because we was programmed. We thought that's what. And really yeah. just understood that, Tiffany, would you let a person develop a relationship with you that was always uh, trying to tell you everything to do, like even after you're grown, like mm -hmm. you didn't even do too well with your parents when you was 13 and 14, so yeah, stop it. And once I just released it, it was like, you're supposed to control people. Mm -hmm. Like people that you want to love you, you're supposed to allow them without fear. They can make mistakes, they can make their own choices. They have to experience their own life. Yeah. Regardless, I don't know what's best for Dominique and Dashe. And once I really sat with myself one day and was like, you don't even know what's best for you. <laughs> that part. So how are you gonna know what's best with two other people just because they decided to come through you and let be like, okay, she'd probably be a good person to be your parent. Yeah. But no, you're absolutely right. And I, I, don't know their uh, I struggle with that with my daughter too. So I allow my daughter to be her person, but it would be sometimes it'll be triggering because when she would do or say because she had a voice, it would remind me of oh my god if I would have said that I'd have been laying on the ground. But why is that like looked as good? That's not good. Right. It's like almost um, what's the word? I can't think of the word, but uh, like it's just looked upon as being good. There's a word I can't figure out, but um. Well, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's seen as it's like, praise, I guess, is yeah, where like, like this, humbling, like oh, you're pious, good, you're a good parent if you have if your kids are afraid of you. Yeah, but, but I, I wasn't being a good parent when my kids were afraid of me. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, Some me people, either. You know, and I just feel much better 
And I believe if you ask either one of them, they would probably be like, yeah, it's much better now that she don't, you know. Mm -hmm. And when they want my opinion, they come and ask for it. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes now I'll be like, oh, you know the answer. <laughs> and then they'll be like, mother, I'll be like, you do know the answer. Like, Right. Yeah. Just go inside. Yeah, and absolutely. Spend some time with yourself. You know the answer. Yeah. Because really, to tell the truth, I don't know the answer. Yeah, like, no, absolutely. The control part or the part that wants me to keep them safe mm -hmm. would say, uh, well, you should do this, this, and this. But that would be everything that I would do. Mm -hmm. I like that part. Yeah. Absolutely. That would be, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah. though I would be trying to act like I'm looking at it like through Dashay's experience. In reality, when I looked at that, I was like, oh, that would be everything that you would do. Because mm. you really... I mean, unless there's sometimes, say, for instance, you have a similar experience, right? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, they still got to do it their way. Mm -hmm. It's something about it that's going to be different Absolutely. for them to learn the experience. Yeah. And so I'm like, you know the answer. My daughter will always tell me, I am not you, mom. Yeah. They knew that it should irritate me. Yeah. But as our relationship evolved and I got more in tune with myself and just things that try to unlearn some things I was like you're right we're not the same so I'm expecting you to move the same way that I would move that I moved at your age that's not fair it that's definitely not fair because most of the time we didn't they didn't even have to be geared up for what we had to be geared up no so they like not we was in kind of survival way. yes we, we were created like a, lot a of, safe space and, and 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 sometimes not even survival a lot of times too it was we were able to, for real, kind of adventure and experience things differently. Mm -hmm. Like back then, we could roam around the neighborhood, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and adventure off and be at the uh, the hill all day, sliding down <laughs> or muddy when you come back. You know, we no, just you're right. had a different, right? Yeah. And then we went through that age of, this is a whole other story, so I ain't going to go there, but monopolizing and pretending as if everything is a danger. Yeah. The program, now we got, we can't sit out side all day long with our kids and get done what we need to do and go to work and everything so now we went to the stage of don't go outside we just gonna buy you everything you need and you're gonna yeah. stay inside yeah that wasn't the best thing mm -hmm. but that's what we did and so no we expect them to be on like to know certain stuff like we do and be able to figure out certain yeah. stuff but they didn't have to because we made them not do that we built yeah. a shelter around that like nah Y'all ain't gonna never have to walk across town. Right. No, absolutely. Y'all not gonna never catch the public bus. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. So with your business, where do you see it going from here? So right now I am currently working on an online curriculum. Right. I see my business being national as well as international, right? Because I love mindfulness it. Is a tool that is universal. Absolutely. Right? Um, and it's so needed in the school system. Yoga is universal. Uh, meditation is universal yeah. and the good thing about it is this though it is a craft everybody can't do it just like everybody can't um paint a wall right you might think you can but it's an art to everything it sure right? is. so there is some in um it is some specialties that go along with this some training and some of it has to be innate you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like um, I would never believe for real that I can have a meditation voice because really, you hear it. It's you drastic. have a nice voice. I could listen it's, to you meditate. Let me close my eyes. You could, though, <laughs> especially if I go into my meditation voice, right? But it's raspy, right? Yeah. And um, I'm getting better, but sometimes I don't want to. It's no, un it's yeah. Unfiltered. No, I mean, I'm talking about with my filter. Sometimes I, I love that part about me, so... but. Yeah, I'm learning, right? But with my meditation voice, Melissa, it's totally different, right? But I didn't notice this voice until about six months in, oh. right? And then one day I was in teaching yoga and I heard myself through the mic, right? And I was like, oh, that's you? <laughs> Shit, I listen to you too. <laughs> and that's when I was I like, love it. Oh, oh, this is really what's going on yes. here, right? So I see my business of uh, expanding right so right now i'm working on an online curriculum right and the online curriculum will be part of any contract that i sign with any school system right and we can work this two ways i can come and teach your staff over a period of time how to use this and implement this 
as part of your curriculum, right? Because I don't just want you to just let me come and teach you mm -hmm. and then y'all just use this for professional development, but it's not part of the children's yeah, life. Absolutely. Like that's not really what we need right now. No. Right? Or you can purchase the curriculum. Either way, when the contract comes, when the online curriculum is finished, all contracts are going to include the online curriculum. Right. right. Or I could come still to your centers and teach the online curriculum part, right? And that way, across the board, we'll be teaching the same, even if you're in Tokyo, even if yeah. you're in Japan, we are teaching the same curriculum the whole year out. Nice. I just see it being around for I love it. a long, long time. And I've never met anyone that's utilizing this in the school system, so I think it's amazing. It's cool. so needed. Cool, cool, um, so where cool. can they find you, follow you, and support you? All right. So I do have a website. It is three, the number three, the letters B fit. So that's B F I T I N D Y dot com. You can find me on Instagram, three B fit kids N D. Um, I'm on Facebook, three B fit body, beauty, and brain. Or Tiffany King, because Facebook is funny sometimes. Sometimes it's funny. I know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Um, so, have you ever thought about going in like community centers? That's what I was about to say, because they were going to kill me, right? So, I am. I'm a partner with Christian Moore House. Christian Moore House is located at 502 Tremont. Christian Moore House has been so generous to me. I love they were that. actually the first community center that I have. Uh, connected with and partner with. I will be there three years. Actually, it was three years in July. So yay to the Christian Moore House, right? I am from Hallville, USA. Christian Moore is part of nice. Hallville, USA. I used to go there for the school, for well, the summer lunch program. You know, yeah. the lunch program used to be good and tasty. Uh, yeah, yes, we did. now it's not. There. My kids went to the Christian Moore House for after school care. And it was a pleasure to be able to go back once again to yeah, I my love that. Um, grassroots and serve there. Um, I also am connected with, um, well, no longer something. Like that. Yeah, but Krista Morehouse is one. Are of you my, open oh, to being Indy Cultural Trail? Don't let me forget about Indy Cultural Trail, right? Indy Cultural Trail. They have contracted with me to do bike and boot camp. So nice. we have bike and boot camp. It is on. Monday evenings now through September the 30th. Uh, it happens at the Orange Bridge uh, Canal Indy, right next to the Colts uh, play space. So that little playground where the Colts have built a play space for the children. We meet there about 5.45. We um, leave out about six o'clock. We trail the canal and the cultural trails. We bike, we work out, we bike, we work out. Every Monday, 6 p.m. And it is free to you all. So it's the Crystal Moore House. So come out nice, and experience yeah. different activities with me, yoga, meditation, bike and boot camp. I love to see you. I love that. Thank you. I'm going to have to try. I have a bike. Yes. Yeah, I haven't been riding a bike in a long time. So okay. Yeah, that'll be dope. Yes, you should So come. thank you so much you for being come. on my show. I'm thank excited to me. see you expand and be in all the schools. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. So this, One day. So this has been Melissa Shaw with Our Generation, where we educate, empower, and inspire. And I hope that you've been educated. I'm sure you've been empowered and inspired based on Tiffany's story. Um, and just really look at your purpose and turn it into your passion. And you can always turn it into something. So never um, doubt yourself. Always believe that anything that you put your mind to, you can achieve. We are out.